If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. NC TV 45 Newcastle The Train Hello and welcome to News Watch Now uh, The Hermitage Lawrence Ca It's Lawrence Mercer Athena Presents its 6th Annual Leadership Celebration Now this is going to be October 23rd from 5.30 to 9.30 at 5 Phillies Farm State Route 208 New Wilmington. Eight local women will be honored. The 2018 recognition honorees in advance of the women's leadership demonstrate excellence, creativity, and initiative in their community and profession. The honorees for the established Athena leadership include Colleen Chamberlain, HR Director, Youngstown School District, Proprietor of Penny Allenwood Outdoors, Leanne Felina, Partner Rob L Leonard Malfill Law Firm, Michelle Goodman, proprietor of Michelle Studios. The Emerging Athena Young Professionals Award honorees are Michelle Bauer, Program Director of Buell Recreation Club, Anne Marie Mendocino, The Bottle Tree Creative House and Executive Director uh, Yvonne Oval and uh, pri pri proprietor leaps and bounds gymnastics Michelle Torak I, and I messed up that last name I'm sorry proprietor of gowns of grace and operations director for guardians nest and then Angie Moyer Urban Executive Director of New Visions for Lawrence County. The Athena Leadership Celebration is open to the public. Registration for tickets and table purchases, donations, and sponsorships must be by October 9th. Okay, so you got to get that in. And you could go to eventbrite.com to get your tickets. Now, uh, Newswatch is going to roll on after we take this break and hear from these great sponsors who keep community television on the air for you. NC TV 45 Newcastle, The Train. Watch. The Wolf Administration releases Medical Marijuana Program Clinical Registration Applications. 
In the latest step to allow medical marijuana research in Pennsylvania, the Wolf Administration today released applications for entities to become clinical registrants. The clinical registrant will work hand in hand with eight certified medical schools, and we told you about that, conducting groundbreaking medical marijuana research. Secretary of Health Dr. Rachel Levine said, together with these entities, we will become come together to research the effect of medical marijuana use and may have some of the most severe medical issues of our time. These studies have <coughs> the potential to help cancer patients, veterans, and individuals who are struggling with opioid uh, use disorder. The program, guided by Act 43 in 2008, allows eight clinical research uh, to serve as uh, both the grower and processor and dispensary of academic clinical research centers and uh, with providing dispensed medical marijuana for research each potential CR must either hold or apply for a grower and processor permit and dispensary permit from the department. Now uh, we announced those uh, those uh, entities back uh, a few weeks ago on Newswatch things moving forward on this clinical marijuana research. Now we're going to take this break and when we return a whole bunch more after we hear from these great sponsors. The Cedars is a great restaurant with outstanding Mediterranean food. The Cedars takeout menu is second to none, featuring pizza, stromboli, hoagies, their famous lamb on the rod, and so much more. So when you're hungry and you want that Newcastle taste, make it Cedars. Now it's in Newcastle, 827 Addis Street on the east side, and all Cedars E724-658-9260. Hello and welcome to the Cedar Sports Corner and um, let's get to NFL football. This week's uh, Monday night matchup, Washington, why they're at New Orleans and over in the NBA, your Monday night games, now this is preseason. You've got Dallas at the 76ers. You've got Indiana at Cleveland. You've got Huffa, H-A-F-A, at Sacramento. Phoenix is at Golden State. Washington at New York. Orlando at Miami. Brooklyn, they're at Detroit. And Chicago, they're at Charlotte. Over in Major League Baseball playoffs, as you get ready for your Monday playoff schedule, Houston's at Cleveland. The Dodgers, they're at Atlanta. And 
the late game, Boston takes on the Yankees, that on TBS. So uh, a lot of great sports to view today, and uh, what can I tell you, last night, NCTV 45 aired hockey, a Sunday, it's a hockey night in Lawrence County, it saw the Chiefs get their first loss against Poland. Now, uh, if hockey's your flavor, then Ottawa takes on Boston tonight. San Jose's at New York. Vegas is at Buffalo and Detroit. They're at Anaheim. Now, that was the Cedar Sports Corner, and we're going to take this break and hear from these great sponsors. We'll be back after this time. Hello and welcome to Lawrence County 45 weather. Well, happy Columbus Day to you. Hopefully you have a great day. And uh, how about this? After last night's low of 63 under that cloudy skies and patchy fog, how's your Columbus Day looking? Well, when we look at radar, ground clutter and... Um, you can see on the national map all clear so that sets us up for a sunny day mostly sunny today high of 85 now um, tonight partly cloudy 66 Tuesday mostly sunny in 83 Tuesday night mostly clear in 64 get used to that sunshine and then what happens Wednesday, partly sunny in 80, and then Wednesday night, in come the showers. Low of 65, chance of rain Wednesday, 80%. Thursday, showers likely, mostly cloudy in 68, chance of rain is 70%. And then Thursday, mostly cloudy, 48. Friday, for those high school football games and homecomings partly sunny and 85 now check that partly sunny and 55 and then uh, it's going to be a little chilly so make sure you get out that that rain gear got or that uh, coat got used to saying about those temperatures being so warm so Friday, partly sunny and 55. Friday night, partly cloudy, 42. Saturday, partly sunny and 52. Saturday night, mostly cloudy and 40. And your Sunday, partly sunny with a high of 54. That was Lawrence County 45 weather. We're going to take this break and we'll be right back. Today's programming 
is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Funding for this program furnished by Mary Turner's Day Spa. Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township, Newcastle. There's more than meets the eye. You gotta give them a Newcastle a try. The right small town for living. Look around. The Pokeberry Exchange at 41 North Mercer Street has gifts galore that'll make you want to explore. Lamps, homemade lamps of every shape and color that will excite any room in your house. Wind chimes hang from the door to give that sweet sound. Sweet soaps and teas, embroidered towels, and much more. It's the Pokeberry Exchange. It's yours to explore. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Well, that's going to do it for this Monday. So uh, make sure you tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And by all means, make sure you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody. See you at noon. Sleep in the sun with darling Don't stand in the cold